You talked about renewable. You talked about nuclear energy, and I've always been a nuclear energy advocate from very young. Nuclear power would have been the obvious choice for a reliable, effective, and low emission system with minimal interruption to people's lives. Everyone knows it. But once nuclear power enters the grid, it erases the requirement for renewables entirely. So it's going to have a real fight on its hand. But having lost the argument on cost and skills, Australians are waking up the, to the reality that the only argument that uh, political parties have left against nuclear is really the Cold War era raving about nuclear waste. I've seen you reblog some things about this on Twitter. Have we been misled about the danger and the difficulty of handling nuclear waste? Is it more of a non-issue for Australia and a good trade-off for clean, reliable energy? Yes, indeed. Uh, nuclear waste is, is just not a problem, um, not a problem at all. The, the amazing thing about nuclear energy is that it comes from splitting atoms, it uses the strong nuclear force to yield energy, and that means that the fuel source is just so, so incredibly dense, just so, so dense, that you end up with this tiny, tiny, tiny amount of waste, this high-level waste, and it's a solid. So when you have a solid that is extremely dense and small, you can just engineer the heck out of your storage solutions and it costs you a pittance in the scheme of things. So there's simply no problem with the waste. And the other thing that people don't even realise is that the waste exponentially decays in its radioactivity. So after a few hundred years, it's actually relatively safe to handle. After about a thousand years, you'd have to crush it up and eat it to get a lethal dose. So it's really... <laughs> do, do not recommend that as an option for disposing of waste. Don't eat the nuclear waste, right? Ab ab absolutely <laughs> not. But, but my point is, is that we actually have thousands of chemicals uh, in our household cupboards that will stay more dangerous than high-level nuclear waste for even longer. And also the, the batteries and things that we're doing to produce the electronics required for the renewables energy transition, that also has toxic consequences which will need to be stored and after a few hundred years it'll have the same sort of storage requirements. You need to keep them out of water, etc. So really nuclear waste is a total furphy. We don't need to even dig deep geological repositories. We can actually just keep them sitting on a shelf somewhere. I'm happy to have some in my backyard. If I had a backyard, I'm a millennial so I can't afford a backyard, but anyway, there's, there's just no problem with nuclear waste and we can actually, we do have the technology to reprocess it so all that waste actually gets used up again. So even calling it nuclear waste is, is not even clearly the best way of describing it because to an extent it's just yet to be reprocessed fuel. It just needs to be returned to the next cycle. Um, and that might cost a little bit more than mining up fresh uranium at the moment, but the idea that we have some sort of permanent irrevocable nuclear waste problem on our hands, it's just not a problem. And anyone who's sensible on the other side of the debate will acknowledge that. Um, we can actually store the nuclear waste. Um, so that really isn't a concern of mine at all.